Welcome to Active Collab Workload. This is how you get started. On the left, you'll see all the people invited to the projects, along with their daily working hour capacities. They're set to eight hours per day by default and, if needed, can be changed. The upper bar shows the timeline, starting with the first working day of the current week. You can see the planned activities for the next 30 days. Weekends, holidays, and days off are marked differently, so they're easy to notice. In the upper left corner, you'll find a filter that lets you choose whose workload you'd like to view, whether it's one person, a few people, or an entire team. Right next to it is the Expand Collapse All button, which allows you to view or hide the projects and tasks of all the selected people. Of course, you can expand this view individually. Can't find a task in workload? That's because they don't have a due date set. As soon as you define a time frame, they'll appear in the assigned person's workload, grouped by projects. A warning sign on your tasks is there to alert you a time estimate has not been set for them. It's important to make an estimate for everyone's tasks so you know if someone's been overloaded or if they have some time to spare. You'll have this information just by glancing at each person's daily capacity cell. It can be green, indicating the number of hours a person has left at disposal, while if it's red, it shows the number of hours they have to work overtime. A green cell with a check mark means the team member's daily assignments are perfectly balanced. At the top, you might see an unassigned tasks section. Just as the name says, all the unassigned work with a due date will be placed here. Drag and drop them to the right person and make sure everything gets done. This is how you quick start workload. Happy workloading!